Good afternoon, everyone. I'm glad you're here. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News, and I really appreciate all of you joining me. I have a curious question for you. If those of you in South Carolina felt an earthquake there at about 2.58 p.m. local time, or maybe about one an hour earlier, there's two earthquakes on here that USGS is not reporting. There's actually more there in South Carolina. This is a magnitude 2.5. The only earthquake that USGS is reporting uh, was early this morning, a magnitude 1.9 that occurred at 3.11 a.m. Uh, but this one, this afternoon, there's actually two of them. Um, I downloaded two different monitors. You can see the earthquake here. And this is what's considered an interplate earthquake. Let me extract that yeah you know earthquakes where they're not supposed to happen let me go to the other one that occurred before that uh right there it is marked in red now this one was at 1557 universal time so that would have been at 1157 a.m um not quite noon and this one too is an uh, interplate earthquake yeah, see the sharpened points? This is when, uh, yeah, false move or the uh, continental plates move. Here's the other monitor for the first earthquake. Let me go to the seismic signature right there. Um, and then I'll go to the second one right there. It's farther away, so it shows up being smaller. Let me close all this out. Did you guys feel something? Yeah, I'm not surprised that USGS doesn't report earthquakes, but yeah, they line up on both monitors. Here is the location of the 1.9. It was actually a 1.93, and I'll bring it out. Yeah, earthquakes are not supposed to be um, in this location. They consider it an interplate earthquake. Let's see, and it's not far from... Greenville and Pickens and Easley, um, South Carolina. The two monitors that I am using, one is Pauline and the other one is Jenkinsville. Here's the location for Pauline and then the Jenkinsville one is further east right there. Now this is the one that actually shows up the earthquakes better than this one here. I couldn't get the other monitors to uh, download the data. I've been spending a couple hours trying to get data. And so when I did get this one, um, yeah, I hunted around and I got the other. So here's the two monitors. We got Pauline on the left and that's that supposed 1.9. The one on the right is Jenkinsville. And it comes in a little bit small. I don't know if you can see that little red line going across there. The earthquake actually came in as a magnitude 2.39. And we'll go to the seismic signature. Yeah, again, this is uh, interplate earthquakes. Yeah, we got some a little bit rounded, but yeah, mostly sharpened points. Let's go over there. We'll pull that. See that? Here's the earthquake as it came in at uh, Jenkinsville. Yeah, just a small little blip, but you can see that we got some hot gases here that came up, and we'll go to the seismic wave and extract that. Yeah, again, yeah, sharpened points. Here's an example of another one which is not being reported for the uh, Jenkinsville. Yeah, it's marked in red. It comes in as uh, just a little blip here for Pauline. I think I got the right time, 2351. Uh, okay. You may have noticed this signature through here. This is the uh, 5.9 that they had there in Panama. That occurred at 125 Universal, so it only took about five seconds 
it looks like. Maybe six seconds for it to show up here in South Carolina. There's the spectrogram. There was another earthquake that's not being reported at 1114. Again, the one on the left is Pauly, and the one on the right is Jenkinsville. Yeah, see that? Let me make that one bigger, because it looks like Jenkinsville is probably the better signature. And we'll go to the... Yeah, see that? We got some popping going on. Let's take a look at Pauline, which would be this one right here. Yeah, see? Both monitors, miles apart. Why are they not reporting these earthquakes? Let me pull this up. Here's another one. This is at 1423 Universal. Once again, both monitors. Let's see, right through there. You can see the red line. Yeah, I had to download the data twice uh, to get Jenkinsville um, to work properly. Yeah, look at that. Why are they not reporting them? There is a lot of interplate earthquakes going on. Let's see. You can, you can just line them up. Let's see. There's one there, 1540. Let's see. Right there, 15. I think I just did that one, didn't I? Okay, we got another small one right here. 1659. Yeah, 1659. Yeah, it's not your imagination there in South Carolina. I don't know why they're not reporting. Only one out of maybe... Well, I showed you probably at least five, I think. Yeah, and see, this one's marked in red, too. 1940, right there. Yeah, not being reported. Starts out right there. This one, yeah, look at that. Okay, let's make that one bigger. Look at that. Yeah, today is only, what, Thursday? And that was shallow. This one is really shallow. It's not like it's Friday and they went home early on the weekend. Why are they not reporting these earthquakes? This would have been yesterday. Last night, I believe. Let's see. 3.40 p.m. Um, local time. Yeah, I don't know. What are your thoughts? I hope you're earthquake prepared because so many interplate earthquakes... Yeah, it just means that the continents are moving and we'll probably have a large one coming somewhere else. I hope it's not the East Coast. What are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Yeah, thank you for subscribing. And especially, thank you very much for your support. Boy, I got a lot of people that have been, been buying me a cup of coffee. <laughs> thank you, because I drink coffee all day. Thank you so very much. Please stay safe and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.